uh, Bino Black here, folks. This is basically going to match what I will scroll through, okay? Like I was saying before, trying to be as politically correct as we can. We love our whole nation under anything. U.S. vets and the last breathing American who stands up for their constitutional rights, no matter what. All right. What we have is the idea, the history of atomic energy, that rad CPM and radiation seek radiation, sex, uh, kind of like how any kind of uh, any scientist in uh, quantum physics or anything like that is dealing with space is the idea that there's probably radiation up there on some stars because the idea of the colors that they throw off to us down here on Earth, i.e. watch the Fuka fudge up burning. Uh, anybody that is a scientist that knows what radiation looks like when it's burning uh, in a controlled environment. Uh, we see this graph action, very high CPM here. Because why? Because there's no secret. We know where we lit off the first one, okay? And no, don't want it. Uh, also, yes. Also, yes. Yuma, yucca, yes. Okay? So there is your scientific fact that the idea that when anybody is telling you the idea that it goes to high altitude, that it goes to magna, uh, you go to any high radioactive area that's doing this right now, there's gold in Yuma. Okay? There's plutonium. There's also where we set the bomb off. All kinds of stuff. Okay? And basically, you want to go gold mining. Well, the, even though we have this radiation problem, the CPM better gross. Well, Mother Nature has given you everything that the space lab already seen years ago, and basically not the space lab, the space shuttles, because we have x-rayed Earth, and we know where every speck of everything is. Yep, the American military has x-rayed, and basically our, basically, the American military owns the, our government, keeps us safe. The USA, 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 folks, we know where everything's at on Earth. We know where a bunch of stuff is at in space. If you see, yes, hello, and I wonder what's down there. Yeah. And then the story of someone trying to steal something, get away with moving something a long time ago. Well, they may have, but the idea that rats run and rats get killed because rats, that rat on their nation, or screw with their country, or try to screw their country over, bribes will get you nowhere. Whores die daily. Okay. USA, USA. But being a patriot and being the idea that we're looking out for everybody, we got this stuff. It's called CPM. It's called RADS. Now, we do know by being no black here, uh, sharing and showing the idea that they took and all. Oh, why would they give us a virus? They can't. Okay. Now, why would they go ahead and take the volume off of the national site okay and I don't show you the graph to the right because the idea they're basically showing you what they really what you really are interested this this one here independent scientist person caring patriotic or whatever showing you the truth on the left hand side here these graphs are CPM and when you see it blanked out somebody doesn't want you to see something okay uh, no skim discrimination here we're going to go all the way through the list that's basically and I think that's the way he does it too or she or whoever the group of people that have put this on the internet to show you that there's here there and everywhere now there's one thing to think about ladies and gentlemen okay especially when you see a real low one like that when we say they took the volume off do not trust these too damn much and that's what the thing I'm saying is is someone trying to get patriotic people in trouble by showing but no matter what the scientific fact that wherever it's at, okay, and we can trust these graphs. As far as I know, we're supposed to. Who's lying to us, okay? But the idea that in the testing grounds, in Yucca, and so forth, when we see these spikes at that area and so forth, that is the truth bleeder that the idea that there is CPM out there and RADs out there, okay? So let me go down real fast. Basically, just go to the site. It's uh, alexanderhiggins.com, http slash last blog, alexanderhiggins.com. 
and I'll put the link on it, I guess. Basically, I'm going to leave it like this because we'll probably end up doing another video in the future. And I'm going to show you on pictures real fast what's going on down in Antarctica. Our object, we have way more proof that the object down in Antarctica is there. And basically, so uh, the North Pole is pretty much stays somewhat our best pole, dangling like a little pe uh, something on a piece of string. Uh, but if you go to Yucca, I'm not going to waste any much more video time, but you've seen what I already showed you there. I'm getting up on six minutes already. So the idea that if you go to Yucca, it'll show you the truth that the idea that that one should be covered up, but they kind of don't cover it up because it's like, hey, that's the history. But the idea that it does bleed the truth because we do know atomic energy attracts to atomic energy. So, and honestly, in somewhat of a sense, the idea that it's a good thing that we did it where we did it at because it's a very low populated area. The sad thing, it's a very beautiful area also. But the idea that those historic wide open air earth areas that have radioactivity are going to, i.e., attract the atomic energy, dirty or good, I mean, basically no matter, in the air. So the idea that that in Yucca that showed real high and there's other areas in the country that do, and it just basically bleeds out to where we have done tests at, or where there is gold or other natural platinum, palladium in the, our Earth, in America, and then all over the world, too. Because if you were doing Geiger tests, it's like, oh, we're hella high here. Well, then, if you have no history of atomic practice there of, you know, modern age time, well, either that in the past, or there's you got gold, palladium, or whatever underneath your ass. And start digging, because you got money there. Okay, so let's go to Santa's too good of a dancer. We gotta watch Santa dance. He is just bad. He is one ho ho bad dude. Dance, Santa, dance. Nobody knows how to do the Humpty Bump like Santa does. All right. So anyway, let's go get a little serious on data. And anybody who's contacted me, to stay relaxed, because the idea that yes, we are currently performing site maintenance, and we know that there's just basically they're cutting us off. We're telling too much truth, okay, folks? So the idea that it'll be back up because uh, nothing's really going to go bad. No one's nothing. The shit's not going to hit the fan, and so forth and so on. So the idea that we've got what we've got down there at Nehemiah, going through the pictures now. Basically, that is what it is, okay? It is hidden in the light and it gives itself a silhouette okay and also it could be the idea that it's a crystal that's right a crystal ball in space ladies and gentlemen because the idea that it only shows up when a certain sort of light hits it or is it just its reflection now as we go through the pictures here real fast this is the I'm not gonna waste time the date it's exactly what it is uh, when it was taken so forth and so on and you can slow down and go through this. But there's one slide I can show you real fast that shows and proves beyond a doubt, beyond a friggin' doubt, that the idea that it's in front of, and it's not the sun, because you know it's not the sun because of the time, okay? And it's smaller, okay? Because that the sun's not that small. And as you see, yep, as it dips down, it gets dark. See? So it's not that big. Plus, check this one out. I think I'm getting to it. Because you can go through and freeze these and get all these anomalies. And I'm going to, you know, maybe I have another video if there's something different today. But check it out in a second. You're going to see, there it is, okay? This one for sure, and we'll see in the next slide. But you can see that there's even another smaller than Rigel Cantaris B in front of this, okay? So is this Rigel Cantaris B here, or is this Alaraf? And what the hell is this? Because we pretty much know that this it's the blue baby blue kachina and how much of this stuff is stacked on top of each other when it moves around and how when did they get centered and so forth and so on. We know how the super giants move around. Watch my old videos. Because that is another sun coming up and shading what we keep on getting the smoke blowed up our ass. Oh, it's the camera does that. The camera doesn't do that, i.e. go and see anybody that's trying that doesn't have very many counts and is trying to there is a picture from Ansel Adams that is very famous and that nobody can get rid of. There is a black spot in front of the sun, which is probably more than odds on. In 1939 or so, he took the same damn picture. I'm not going to take time. The next video I have, I will show it to you because I have a record of it. Okay? Ansel Adams' family, they've got all kinds of problems with people stealing and, and saying, oh, that this is the pictures out of the box and stuff like that that someone found at a yard sale and all this horse hockey, whatever. Maybe it's true. Maybe he had somewhere some hooker he was hanging out with or some gal at one time. But anyway, this goes and shows you 
dead on proof that the idea that there's something else even in front of or they do an alignment during the day of in front of because you can blow smoke up everybody's ass. Oh, there's a reflection that comes off the building and then d comes up there. Well, that no matter what, that is an object in front of not the sun, Rigel Canteris B, or what, Alaraf? We don't know. Supergiants exist, folks. You guys know it. I know it. Scientists know it. Astronomers know it. They're not telling you the truth and stuff because they don't want panic. They don't want markets to collapse and crap like that. Screw the euro. If you're an American, what the hell do you care what a euro is worth? Okay, so... Let me pop through my pictures. Uh, we got about four minutes left here. But there is dead on proof, folks, that there's something even in front of that little object down there, which gives us on the 26th of December, we're going to have a close object coming by again, i.e. biblical, the Bible is a history, and the idea that all this stuff has been for years, the idea that an astronomer can see a cross in the sky, and yes, I'm religious, there is something, there's spirits, there's a God, there's something, okay? Male, female, start your game. We're only human beings. We can only say what we can say. This stuff's out there. I've showed you there's tons of crosses and V's in, the, in space. Uh, God didn't mean us not to look into the stars. Uh, this thing has got something in front of it in Rigel Canteris B. It's an object. It's a dwarf star. And there's also a little baby sun in front of that, which is probably the one that's 56%. And the idea that I've given you dimensions before on my video, let me go ahead and cue that up. Okay. So this is dead on. Scientific proof that what's down there is down there. Okay. This stuff is down there, folks, and I don't mess with the clock. I give you straight up the shots. Let's go see what I had pictured back here real fast because i got enough time to go through it. There's what's what was down at the Yeah, they had moisture, but these tetrahydrons, they still show the truth of being a tetrahydron up there, okay? This may be a raindrop, so forth, and stuff like that. Not positive on these. Ain't got time to contest this, but this never goes away. That object never goes away. It's not a scratch. It's not an anomaly in there because that is an air... Uh, that is their... Air traffic control for the British military down there that they're shooting that camera out of, okay? There it is, okay? But that never goes away. This might actually be the anomalies that go around it because the idea that there is clear weather there on that shot. There's the stuff back behind the sign yesterday. I'll make another video today probably. He, oh, there, yeah, Danica Patrick was on. Check it out. Check Danica's uh, tattoo out, folks. You know, Black sharing a little bit of everything. I, uh, anyway, uh... Just sharing, I got my legal disclosure in the end and the idea that somebody popped a picture of her. So we got a nice close-up shot of uh, her tattoo. She's patriotic. Looks like it. Looks like, oh yeah, don't tread on me, Snake. Now I see it clear. She's real nice and patriotic. Uh, Danica, I like, mm, 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 Danica. Go, baby, go. Nice, fast cars, hot chick. Go, daddy. Okay, so anyway, I should get some money for that. But I can't, can't accept any money because in the idea we, we wouldn't be telling you the truth. Don't get inhibited by anything, okay? Not even that, okay? Man, high stakes dating. Anyway, like the color of the bathing suit too there. Got to be happy for Santa Claus coming around. So anyway, oh, now I'm in trouble for calling her, hun, but I'm not going to redub this tape. So anyway, Danica, nice tattoo. Santa, we like that action too. What else do I got going on here? We're going to... So FYI, people, as a patriotic person, make sure you keep keeping track of all these graphs and this action. And also off the computer, make sure you got plenty of pictures and videos like I do that the idea that nobody can ever find them. And you'll always have them for an ace card in the hole. So that the idea that when someone tries to say something about you, that the idea that, but it's not that. Because, see, I got a bunch of ace cards in the hole, the idea that, People have been after me for, let's just put it this way, the almighty dollar. Yeah, pino has got some stuff, tons of stuff, tons. And got tons of information and stuff in his head, too. No, I know tons. And when I say tons, I mean I know tons. Remember, I've showed you how to find gold in America. Whether it's there or not, either that or there is nuclear near you. Gold, palladium. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, I got the legal disclaimer at the end, and let me fill in the last little bit real fast. The idea that you're never going to be able to trust this stuff, and we've seen the truth to begin with, so don't let the uh, turdster, yeah, like this crap, in the future throw you off. You know the truth. Keep it. Keep the recordings. Can keep the stuff hidden away. Go look up the history of Yucca Mountain and see how far it is from you, Arizona, folks, and then you'll know why these spikes are here.
Legal disclosure. 